Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. We are currently in Blackwater where we have uh, gotten rid of Hundred Face and it's time to return to Dresden where our Ziggurat has completed. I'm very curious what that's going to look like. Uh, just quickly checking this and it doesn't seem to be anything interesting. Nope, let's just leave. And we're not going to walk all the way back. We'll just teleport. Oof. Uh, House of Death apparently is in the streets. We'll go to the streets then. Okay, that thing is big. That thing is seriously big. Yeah, I know that's what she said, but... I know the way. Um... Can I get my entire party with me in here? Downstairs. And here is Zacharias. Let's explore first and then we'll talk to him afterwards. Follow my lead. Somehow I expect that this will be like trophy rooms or something. Jeez, this thing is huge. It's like they built this in 30 days? All the things you can do with magic. Yeah, I'm fully expecting this to become like trophy rooms. Uh, Defend the cigarette, defend the master, kill the warm ones. Yes, that sounds fine. I'm sure Sila feels perfectly at ease in here. Time's not waiting. So, Mr. Zacharias, you look uh, less than friendly. The Lich surveys the ziggurat with regal dignity. Upon seeing you, he inclines his head. Not bad at all, student. It's much, much more spacious than my private chamber at the Lost Chapel. And yet, you do not expect me to oversee the running of this palace, do you? I am busy enough as it is. I am engaged in constant spiritual creation as I transform your immaterial being. Without my efforts, the powers of death will simply snuff you out in the blink of an eye. I shall produce a creature, the Pillar of Skulls, that will see to the more mundane affairs of the Lord of Death. Arrange for everything I need to be delivered. I shall not waste time. While you take care of urgent matters, I can finally return to my engaging conversation with the old elf, a story collector. He promised to divulge the finer details of weaving the traditional curses of Tian Sha. Is the storyteller a friend of yours? <laughs> I have no need for friends. But the elf is wise and quite knowledgeable. He's also old, which is a great riddle in and of itself. I have never encountered any long-lived of his kind who are like him. So far, he has been useful. I will gladly absorb his knowledge in exchange for my stories and worthless rubbish. It is quite a bargain. New event, Pillar of Skulls, okay. Are you pleased with the ziggurat? Said that. 
What do you think of my leadership of the crusade? The lich's voice is dry, but not completely devoid of approval. Let us say that that mob of dimwit crusaders no longer seems as hopeless as when I was alive. You were the only strong-willed enough to rally them and compel them to act. Just do not consider it a worthy feat. When you discover immortality, you will understand these toy soldiers mean less than nothing. I want to know more about you. Exactly would you know? My feats are sung in legend. Surely every crusader knows of them. Life beyond death has been a tedious term of imprisonment in this fortress surrounded by foolish and maddening demons. He's talking as if he was still in the uh, lost chapel. Okay. You're considered a hero. How did you become undead? I, I'm pretty sure that we've asked these questions before. Yep. Yep, this is the same things that we asked him in the... Um... Lost Chapel, yep. Attack, I will destroy you. Uh-huh. Go, student. Remember that your mundane concerns as a commander are nothing compared to our great cause. You would do well to keep your priorities straight. As it should be. It's less conversation than I thought it would be. I fully expect these to take me down to the same rooms below. Yes. And now for a minor scalding of the from the people. Why do I still have a uh... I need to talk to someone in the city streets. House of Death. Oh, right. We need to create this creature. Um... <clears throat> we need to do that one. I would also like to get all of this uh, up. We, we uh, need more military experience points. Okay, we're back in town. Uh, we need to go to where Ember is standing and just make sure that we click all of the citizens around her. First her. The people in the city doesn't seem to like your sermons. Are those sermons? I just tell people things. Simple things. Anyone can figure them out. People are much cleverer than me. But they listen to me and say thank you after. I probably just have a pretty voice. Just click all of these. Not all of them are as bemused like this guy here. Okay, that's out of the way. Now we need to talk to Wolgif. Standing right here. Hey, Chief, wanna talk? You wanted to tell me something in private. Wolgif tries to seem calm, but his tail is lashing nervously. I don't know how to word it, so you don't just drag me straight to the Inquisitors. You were the one who wanted to talk. Hmm. Well, you got me there. But I don't know how to put it. This has never happened to me before. Bear with me. I'm not one to gush about my feelings, you know. And this is a hard thing to talk about. Wolgif is still alert, but the motion of his tail slows. Fine. You. I, I still can't believe you took me back. No one has ever done anything like that for me before. So I guess I can trust you with some things. 
Not all of them, though. My shadow... Did I tell you that it talks now? Well, it happened after I started carrying the moon of the abyss with me. And that's not the only thing that happened. I'm giving me strange dreams, like I'm falling inside some kind of crystal. I keep falling forever. Everything around me is shining, but dreams don't mean anything. I thought it was because the wound is so near, but there's something else. Woodliff stays silent for a while, building up his courage. Chief, I'm I'm stronger. My fingers tingle any time I use magic now, like it's dying to come out. It wasn't like this before. I did some magic, but now it's like I can do real damage, you know? This never happened before I took the moon. Woodriff gives you a pleading look. Chief, I don't know what to do with these powers. What if they get stronger? I mean, I've always thought about what I'd do if I was suddenly rich and powerful. I'd show everyone my true worth, but I'm not ready for this. It's too much for a simple fellow like me. Yes, this is my grandfather's inheritance, but why did he leave it to me? Do you think he really wanted me to become stronger so I could grab what the world owed me as payment for all the kicks and blows, for all the mocking at the way I was, I was born? What if it's a trap? Mm, your demonic heritage won't lead to anything good. My demonic heritage... Wolgif tugs his tail, then his horns, with exaggerated seriousness. I'd get rid of it, but I can't. See? It's in my blood. But you're right, I've seen nothing good from it, except for my moon. This powerful amulet was passed down to me, so that means the only person in family who wanted me to be born was a demon. Ironic. Votiel, Igephalus, there are too many demons hanging around you, and the moon of the abyss turned out to be of demonic origin as well. Hmm. You think I like it? If it was up to me, I would never have met them. This is how I see it. Igifilus must be my grandfather, since they call me his spawn. Votiel, that spiked ugly mug, came to try to collect some of the old demon's debt from me. I know how it goes. We have uncles for this in the family. Big thugs, but without the spikes, who go around beating money out of late payers. The Hepsamira he's talking about must be like our sister Kerisme, but for demons. An old Gramps crossed her somehow, and she just can't get over it. Probably stole the Moon of the Abyss from her. I don't know. But I would have. And the Moon? Ah, Grandpa, you should have left me a note or something. Chief, I think he expected better of me than how I turned out in the end. He probably thought he'd have a smart grandkid who'd know what the Moon was for and what to do with it. But he got me. Wolgif's tail drops sadly. So what if he was a demon? I don't want to let him down, you know. He believed in me, I guess. Just you and him, Chief. The only two people in the whole world who believe in me. That's why I have to figure this thing out. Is that... Okay, so now we have to wait for... Events to unfold. The Gobanek has disappeared. That one. Uh... Yeah, it's finished. Which means that we are going to uh, get back to that in a later chapter. Probably the next one. Okay. So we have that one, interesting yet. This one is the important one, as I mentioned. Ember we just have to wait for. We could go back to uh, Neath Hole. This one we cannot finish in this chapter. We need to create this Pillar of Skulls. Uh, this one will... This is unavoidable. Um, that one, I'm not sure if... 
think we just have to wait. Same with this. Uh, we could also do this. This one is excellent. Yep. Okay. Up to the uh, keep. Not what I was looking for. Sorry. And I definitely expect a scolding for that ziggurat. I mean, it's taking up a rather sizable quantity of the city. Today, Irabeth looks unusually lively. Eyes are shining again, which you haven't seen since the battle for the Lost Chapel. Saluting you, she stands at attention. Commander, forgive me for bothering you with a personal matter, but I just wanted to say how grateful I am to you. During the attack on Dresden, I did not exactly cover myself in glory. You had every reason to throw me out of the army or send me to the condemned, yet you supported me, you helped me regain my footing and continue to fight. You will not regret this decision, I swear. I will never again let the Crusaders down, neither by my action, nor my words, nor my thoughts. I will be loyal to the Crusade to the end. I hope you will show greater self-possession in the future. Yes, Commander, right you are. Hirabeth smiles. I have conquered my inner demons. Now I can go back to fighting the real kind. Good. That's that one out of the way. Commander, unexpected reinforcements have arrived. From the Queen this time, these are volunteers. A group of Kelid barbarians have come, all of them seasoned fighters. They wish to serve under your command. This tribe seems to have a bone to pick with the demons. They believe that ravaging Sarkoris made the demons the personal enemies of all the peoples of the north. They are proud that you're human, just like them. They say that as soon as they heard about your deeds in Canabras and Dresden, they knew that a true chief had finally come. Eighteen barbarians are recruited, or we can add finance points. Neither of which is really that important. I'm not sure accepting them in the army would be such a great idea. Is there any other way they can help the crusade? I'll speak with them. I don't think they'll refuse to help us with resources or with something else we need. Thank you, Commander. How does that thing work? Two seconds, please. Okay. So, it's, it's here. Lich Zacharias demands a cigarette to be and constructed in Dresden. Blah, blah, blah. Pillar of Skulls. It has 10 days to solve and it requires logistics. However... We will I think these are logistics as well. Yeah. We'll level up logistics first. I don't know how to get... military uh, experience is there a way that I can see how much yeah like 350,000 experience in leadership whereas I've 1830 military experience what if I recruit more troops Speaking of which, why isn't that not work? Double tweaks. I have it installed and it's on. Do anything then. Yeah, crap stack. I sh No. 
Well, let's let's just see. Address the defense army two. If I move that down there, and I recruit. Visitors, hmm? I really want to get this to work, so... The mod, that is. Now, did that give us experience point? Yes, that did give us military experience point. Okay. So I have to recruit armies. Um, should have gotten the one to rank up military. Maybe we have to rest first. Oh, it didn't play that insane sound effect. That was something. Maybe... There's something that I need to enable in the options here. This one is here. So expand the uh... tactical battle mode. How does that work in regards? Oh, that made him very fast. But oh, I think there's a problem with that because I I think that it doesn't just increase the. The animation speed i actually think that increases the time as well let me just see here do i have a spell okay if i cast haste on myself yeah you can see the seconds flow faster so that that's not a good idea I suppose I could have it at... Well, the global map should be fine, actually. Put that at 2.5. But let's also have these... Wait, I think tactical combat animation speed might be the... Uh... The... Uh... Oh. Turn-based combat? Jeez. But how do I... Set it had other things, like... No, I can't find any. Said that it had other, like... Expand armies and stuff like that. Uh, but this doesn't seem to be here. It also should show me the um, the armies that are both I control and enemy armies on their way to attack me in a different way. Let me just check the mod uh, um, page. Uh, two seconds, please. Everything seems to be working with the mod, so it might be that I actually have to go outside of the key and not be in the. Um, 
uh, crusade management mode for this to work because like this tab here is um, specifically added by the mod and the other features also seems to work as uh, intended so but it hasn't added any uh, statistics for companions that we're not using which makes sense it only counts stuff after the uh, installed it so serves to prove just how good these animal companions are Bullshit is the best companion I have after, uh, rather the best companion I have in regards to pure damage and compare that to my own character. It has counted the, uh, the damage dealt with in uh, Blackwater. Now, that wasn't what I was going to do. I was going to have a look at this. Yeah, we need to go back there now. We did loot uh, quite a bit of stuff at the uh, Blackwater location. Should probably sell a couple of them. It pains me to think that any living creature could be so dull and predictable. Tell me, Sozial. Do you have even the smallest secret? Something unusual that you keep private from the world? The only thing I hide from the world is my fear and my desire to throw up my hand and say, someone else can do this. I am not ashamed to admit it. Now it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Sila strides boldly up to you and gives you a grim look. Listen, I'm not happy to have to say this to a friend. A friend who crawled through caves with me, a friend who took Dresden with me, but you know I'm not one for beating about the bush, so I'll just say it. The more I see of this power of yours, the less I like it. It reeks of death and evil, and I can sense these things. And what are you planning to do? Leave the party? No, I'm not planning to do that. I, of all people, should believe that people can change for the better, but I can't just sit back and say nothing. I'm not interested in your moral qualms. My power is just fine by me, no matter how much it reeks of death. See the frowns. Look, I don't want to think that you've already been pulled too far into the darkness, that you're beyond saving. Too much depends on you. Just remember this, we're not supposed to become worse than the demons we're fighting against. It was the scalding that I expected. Hail! Dorgalinda Stranglehold salutes you with her bad hand. Amidst the critical shortage of supplies, a number of soldiers who call themselves the Fellows of the Crusade have set up a black market in the army. They steal everything that's not nailed down, trade medicine for swords and spell scrolls for tobacco and rations. They know better than to ask for anything from command, so they take care of themselves. And if someone's not happy with the trade, out comes the knives. I don't know how to deal with it except by alleviating the shortage of essential supplies. We should press Mendev for more deliveries, and we need to sort out our storage, build some decent warehouses. Right now it's a thief's paradise. An underground market, huh? What's bad about that? Let them trade things. Let's authorize it. Then there won't be a black market. Just a normal, legit market. If someone is in need of something, we are the ones who must provide it. We should ask the priests of many gods. They have wealth and influence. Maybe they can help. You thought I was joking when I said our soldiers would soon need our experience of surviving in the caves? Well, here we are. This is the day. Time to live off the land. I'll teach your fighters how to survive on barren rocks, and there won't be any need for a black market. Uh, 
That gives us the option to build markets. That gives us the option to build shrines. That gives us the option to build salvagers posts. And this gives us the option to build warehouses. I think land suggestion is the best one. Materials and energy points are the ones that we're going to need the most. So, yeah. Lan, it's time for our fighters to learn how to provide for themselves. It's high time, I say. We'll assign gathering teams, sort the findings, and we'll be alright. Thank you for making the call, Commander. I will report all further developments directly to you. If we run into anything else that requires your attention, I will immediately convene the council. It's nice. Can we level up logistics more? Every piece of land that the Crusaders seize from the demons puts additional load on the logistics and supply channels connecting the Crusades' troops. In order to maintain this tight network, experienced officers are required to implement reforms to logistic processes. Well, we can form the military council at least. This is logistics. Birth. Nobles often look down on commoners, as aristocrats are taught from birth that they are better than the lowborn. This attitude causes quarrels between them and common warriors, and the officers have asked the commander to intervene. Leadership experience, morale increase, or both. Yeah, have them compete in a tournament. Sila acted as the head judge at the tournament where everyone was given a chance to prove their worth. The nobles went up against the commoners, and only strength and skill decided the outcome of each fight. Upon witnessing what common warriors were capable of, the aristocrats had no choice but to acknowledge their valour. Tournaments serve as a bonding experience for the crusaders. I'm thinking it might be... I mean, yes, we should do the... Um... Pillar of Skulls, but I would like to upgrade some of the outposts to Bastions. That'll give us Teleport Circles. I think we'll do that first and foremost. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get this up to uh, rank 5. Suppose I could potentially use Toy Box? Yeah. That is very likely what I have to do. Experimental. That doesn't bode well. Because we need to get them all to level 5. I think. Well, we'll get back to that when it is uh, necessary. Are there any other quests that we need to do in town? We need to talk to the storyteller, since Zacharias wanted to talk to him. We also have a page to give him. But I think we'll go to Neath Hall next. However, I need to just have a quick look at the Crusade 
armies. Yeah, that definitely helped. There's another gang. That also definitely helped. This is much faster now. Go back there. Stay there. Uh, you go there. There's more we can explore here, so you can uh, go up to the North Army and embed. That is risky. Like, that's going to go well. Um, I thought there was a retreat button there. This army can also head up in that direction. Okay, quick talk to the storyteller and then quick peek outside the city to see if I can um, get the, uh, the mod thing to work. Yeah, there we go. Now, up stack, here we have it, indeed. Disband, thank you. This army has room for one more type of unit, let's see. Okay, so Neathholm is the next place we're going to, uh, and either should be all the way back in uh, Canabras. Um, but instead of traveling down there, what we'll do is go into the city, uh, go to the street, and then level up our companions that we haven't leveled up. And I also need to remember to look at their spell books. Level 13, I believe, gives us... I'm sure it gives us more spells, but it does at least give us more... Um, uh, spell slots. Haru, level 13. Dazzling display. A favored train. 
Got to be abyss. Now Grey Boar. Level 13 Ranger. His feet should be Shield Master. Paper Terrain Abyss as well. We did give him a shield, yes. This is a Dwarven War Axe, not an Urgrosh. Regil. Level 13 Blood Rager. Wait. Perception. Then I have no idea. Probably mobility. Feet double slice. Add strength bonus to damage roll mates with the offhand weapon. Good. Spells, level 2. Mirror image. And cat's grace. So seal. Least inspiring characters to level up. But He's getting a feat, so I'm at the character sheet that I have in front of me. Level 13, seize the moment. His dog, level 10. Uh, as for our uh, Paladin, basically the same as Sila, improved initiative. And her horse, Osvito, would have toughness. Next up is Nenio. Level 13 Lore Master. Beat Elemental Focus. Fire. As for level 6 spells, we already have Phantasmal Purification and Sirocco, so we should take Heroism Greater and Hellfire Ray. Ember, level 13 Witch. And as for the feet. There is no feet listed. That might mean that it is irrelevant, but I don't think so. You can take greater spell penetration. Level 4 spells. We have Death Ward, uh, Enervation, we have Inflict Critical Wounds, Dimension Door, I suppose, level 5 spells. We have Cave Fangs, Feeble Mind, and Fire Snake. So, Mind Fog then. Level 6 spells. Uh, we have Heroism greater, so Hellfire Ray, since she doesn't get the Ring of the Salamander. And then Camellia, level 13 Shaman. Dazzling Display. 
Oh, I would have taken that. Apparently, I seem to already have taken that. It has prerequisites. It requires weapon focus. I've leveled her up and completely diff wrong. I've leveled her up as a ranged character while I'm using her as a melee character. I need to respec her. Should I do this now, or should I just do that later? You know what? Let's just do that right away. Just to have it out of the world. Because I want her to be a melee character, not a ranged character. I know the way. I think it's helpful for you guys to see the uh, the choices I made. Okay, level 2, Shaman. Uh, trickery needs mobility at level 3. Her hex should be intimidating display. Level 3, Shaman. Needs weapon focus. Obviously rapier. Level 4, Shaman. And uh, dexterity, trickery, and perception. And she should take ice plant. Level five, sensing grace, rapier. Level six. And the first mythic level, I just want to take that just to have taken. Done for casting. Level 7. Shaman. Now we want outflank. And take the next mythic rank, which will be weapon specialization. So. We need to wait with that. Level 8, Shaman. Dexterity. Uh, battle Master. No, level 8. Yeah, Battle Master. With Rapier. Level 9. To take. Dodge. Any of these that I need to take later on? Yeah, Crane Wing. So we need Dodge. Level 10. Shaman. Uh, secret. Extend Spell. Level 11. Now we should take Shattered Defenses. Is that a requirement for something? No. The issue here is she's not going to have the... Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's take Shattered Defenses. Just follow the guide. Level 12. Shaman again. And Dexterity.
air barrier? Doesn't seem to. Uh, ah, right, that's why. Let's see, can I take weapon specialization now? Yes, I can. Rapier. And then mythic rank 3. Uh, second spirit. And wind. Now, I can do this level. And now we should be able to take air barrier. Good. And finally, level thirteen. Also, not no longer shaman. It's actually barbarian. And then instinctual warrior. And the feet should be improved critical rapier. Complete. And she unequipped items, of course. Let's see here. Uh, the reeking heart of the arcane. As for shield, eluding target, buckler plus three might be better. Yeah, just generally better. Armor, I'm pretty sure you were in the Crypt Raider's armor. A ring of protection and an amulet. No, you can't wear it. You are silly. Piercing damage. Uh, why not? Well, except if that applies to Lan. Wearing embraces of archery, though. Yeah, we can put this on uh, on her. He has a very high critical threat range with 15 to 20, whereas Lan is 90 to 20, so this is definitely uh, useful on her. I mean, difficulty class 23 for a fortitude saving throw on endgame enemies is like, whatever, but... Her stat is dexterity, so let's put that on her. So look absolutely ridiculous. Oh well. And uh, not necessary. Slightly useful. No. Really. I mean, re replace that one. Cloak are you? A cloak of resistance plus three. I need to replace that cloak with this one. Hurt his saving throws, but plus five competence bonus to knowledge arcana is uh, definitely useful. I don't think we have that much knowledge arcana on our main character. Okay, so I respect her as I want her to be, and I've given her some equipment, and this episode. It became much longer than I expected it to be, because of that respec. But since it's a sub-episode, that's fine. Winnie, indeed. Um, I will go around town and uh, sell stuff, uh, possibly uh, buy a couple of things. We have uh, 353,000, so it's not like we are lacking for money. 
And in the next episode, we shall head towards Canabras and uh, visit uh, Chief Sol and see what Lan will tell him. Um, for now, as per usual, if you have any questions and or comments, then please do feel free to leave those in the comment section below the video. And thank you all so much for joining me. I hope to see you all in the next episode.